welcome back to my garden shed. Um, this is the third uh, video in my series on arches. Uh, in the last video I did, I showed you how to use a straight edge to cut triangles. And I wanted to go over some of the details of that. Um, one, I used a ruler here, uh, a yardstick, to create uh, my straight edge because the body of my saw, when it's completely down to get a full depth of cut, is very thin. So this ruler, you could use, uh, this ruler is very thin. It's like 5 30 seconds, uh, which is just a little over an eighth of an inch. Um, the plywood I used was a scrap of plywood I had for my straight edge. And um, then I used the two by four for the uh, guide edge for my stock because I cut a lot with two by four stock. Inside or underneath my two by four, I used a couple of shims of cardboard I found in the trash to um, block it up so that when it's screwed down to the table, my material just slid right under. The reason I use screws to hold the material down is um, to clamp it in place. When I originally made my trailer, you saw in that video I had arches. Um, um, I used this big bulky thing and I used the inside edge of my saw because my body, saw body, got in, in, in the way of my, my cut. So uh, it was very wobbly. It didn't have enough base. So I switched to this process here. Um, in my original process, I used this straight edge. I glued half inch plywood on here, but I, then I had to rip it off because my body was getting in the way. And so that's when I switched to this. My original um, clamping method was to use pocket screws through the side. And so my screws came down through the side into the side of my material. I did this mainly to um, clamp it snug to my guide. Um, I didn't want the warping of the material to pull it away. So the um, so then I switched to this down through the top. One of the things you might pay attention to if you're using this method when you're doing this is to um, make sure your screws don't have a serrated edge on the bottom, as you can see. One of the things I like about this is that it allows for uh, varying widths of material. I think in the last video I showed, I was cutting the pieces and I was demonstrating that you you hold it back so that the curve allows the, the piece that falls off to be the piece you're after. I think now I would switch to sliding the end of my stock, my straight stock, I would cut one cut, flip it over, and then slide my straight stock in like this, so that when I made my cut, the piece I was after would be the end piece here. Um, that way, it's a little more direct in measuring up. I make a mark here, and there's my high spot, and that's what I would use. Uh, this other way, you can set it up so that you're accurate, but it tends to vary a little bit. And that variation, if you change this thickness, this height of your um, cut, the height changes the cord length by the factor. So if this is thinner, this is shorter. If this is thicker, then this is longer. And you can it is the same factor all the way through because you have a set angle on your saw. 
very, um, there's a lot of math involved. Uh, which brings me to why arches? Why am I dedicating a channel to uh, developing arches? And why am I spending my retirement working on arches? What is it that is about arches that uh, fascinates me so much? This, this barrel vault structure that I've built here for my garden shed um, is just the beginning of my fascination with arches. I intend to, over time, to create um, um, a groin vault so that we have four flat walls with the same vaulted structure. I, I like the feel of it. I, I think it's, it feels good to be in this space. It feels nice and spacious to be tall and uh, a good use of space for um, what I use it for. I'm using it for my shop now. So um, I have an open wall behind you. You can't see it. I'll show you a photo. But um, it, uh, it allows for a lot of flexibility. I like using these arches, um, working with the big arch. That's, takes up a lot of space here. Um, this structure can be used to hold plastic tarps up. It can be used. used. I love the flat edges of it, um, make it possible to use plywood. And, and by plywood, I mean any flat um, material. It could be a, a zip panel. Um, it could be um, glass. It could be um, fiberglass, whatever you want uh, as a flat material. So <clears throat> I'm very excited about the, all the exploration I can do with an arch. When I started out my career in woodworking uh, 50 years ago, I, um, I realized that uh, in carpentry and in woodworking, there would be no end of uh, challenge. The, uh, the amount of math that can go into any structure, um, the amount of skill it takes to cut something accurately, the amount of uh, ingenuity it takes to uh, evolve an idea. Um, it, it just doesn't end. So it's a deeply satisfying career. Um, so thank you for uh, paying attention to this video. I hope you subscribe because there's going to be a lot of interesting stuff coming up um, in the next year. Anyway, thank you.